As much as I love using Canva, there are certain features that for a long time I really wish they could do, things that for many years I would do on Photoshop and really wished that Canva had the capability to do. Well, finally, you are now able to do those things that I've been wishing for for so long in Canva. So today I wanted to show you these new apps in Canva, what they can do and how you can use them because they're a really great tool for creating texture, really layering things and making your designs more interesting and really adding more depth and texture into things. So let's get into Canva and get designing. All right, so this new tool, what it can do is help us create things that are beautiful layers with different textures and things like that. So normally with Canva, what you'd, something you'd be able to do is just put something on top of something and put the transparency down. Now, that's one way of laying things up, but there's limits to that in terms of how it looks. And something that I've been able to do in Photoshop a long time and love doing to layer things up and create really interesting, beautiful designs is being able to have blending modes. And so now you can actually do this in Canva, which is really exciting. So I've got here some different things to show you, demonstrate a different ways that we could use this. So you can use this with photos, with textures, you can do it with writing, drawing, paintings, even like texture photos, like something like this. You can also grab things in Canva like over here where you get bits of paper like photos of paper or scanned in textures things like that so there's lots of different things that we can use so this is a way we can create much more in-depth textures that have more to them than just a simple overlay with low transparency. So we're going to create a new design here and we're going to go over to apps. Now what you're going to look for is blend so look up blend image and it's this one here with the big B on it, blend image. Now you have the choice to just choose files or use selected images. So if you put the images you want to use on your page, so let's say we grab this one and this one, and we want to blend these. Now, typically with Photoshop normally, let's just show you, put that in front. If we just put the transparency down, as you can see, it's not really that great. It does, you know, create something interesting, but there's something annoying about it. It's not quite perfect. So what we can do now is you can either have the transparency full. So if we wanted it to be full, or you can actually put the transparency down first. So if you want something to be a little bit more subtle, so I'll show you both versions. So let's just copy these. So I've got one, the transparency a little bit lower. All right, so now we're going to select our images. So we're going to do them in a way we can select them. So choose bottom layer. So we're going to use that image, the photo. Then we're going to choose our top layer. So you select that one. And now here we've got blend mode. So this is where we can choose a mode and it's got all those options that are, you are able to do in Photoshop now here in Canva. So my favorite one that I use the most is multiply. So if we go to multiply, you can see that there, but, but depending on your images, you may want to choose different things. So what you can do is simply go through and click on different ones to see how they're actually going to look. So overlay is another one that I like using. So we could do that. We press add to design. It's going to place that in and you can see how different that is. So it really creates a much more interesting design and really meshes those images together a lot better than just simply putting the transparency down. So here you can see that just the transparency down versus having that overlay. It's a much different effect and it feels like those images really have been combined, allowing you to create something a lot more interesting. So let's try the version where we put the transparency down. So let's go bottom layer. So we're going to clear these, choose this one, top layer, choose this one. And look, we've added screen here, add to design and look what we get here. So this was the original here. If it was just simply transparency, which Canva typically you did, then we've got the version here where we did it you know, full, we didn't put transparency down. This one, we put transparency down. Then we used the screen mode and look what we got here. We actually turned that photo into a pinkish design because we use that screen blend mode. So it really put that into that. So you can start to see all the different possibilities with this and how you can really get creative and create beautiful textures by being able to have these blend modes. So now let's try some other things. So let's say if we want to use a photo and some paper and maybe a bit of extra texture too. Now with this, it only lets you use two things. So what I would do if you want to use multiple images is use two to start with, then save that image and then go and create another one with that image again. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's use clear all these. This one is our bottom. This one as our top. 
So I'm going to put that on top. Now we can go through and find a star we like. So maybe the multiply. Right. So you can see now it's given us that papery texture to that photo and that creates a really cool textured effect of vintage style. Now say we wanted to use this on top. So now we've got this as a completed image. We can now use that and add more and other things. So we can clear, clear selection again, use this at our bottom. Then we choose our next thing and use that. This too is where you can start to see how things are going to look. So say we really like that style of screen, but we wanted it to be a bit lighter. Maybe that's a bit too much. So what we could do is come back and put the transparency down a bit and we can clear and try again. So we can choose this one again. And play around till you like it and then we can add it to design here and there we've added another layer to it so as you can see you can start to really layer things up and create really interesting beautiful designs that you couldn't do before in canva by just using the transparency we can now layer things up and make them really feel like they're really molding together it's really becoming one image by really putting those images interwoven and blending them in together using those blend modes now this can also be helpful with things like text. Now say this sort of text, if we just went to background remover, because as you can see here, it's not something that would cut out perfectly. It's going to, it's not going to be able to get all the white away because there's bits here that are a bit lighter, things like that. So if you've got something that's like maybe some painting or some writing, where cutting it out just using background remover isn't gonna work quite so well this can be very helpful using this tool. So let's say we wanted to put it on top of this. Normally the background remover wouldn't quite do what we wanted to do. So what you can do is actually use the blend modes. So we can select our image that we want it to be on. Then we can select this writing. Now, if you look here with the soft light one, that actually creates a really cool effect of its own. So as you can see, it's a little bit hard to see. You can start to be really interesting things. See how that's quite interesting? You wouldn't have been able to do that normally on Canva. Now we can do multiply and see that really blends it in and makes it cut out really nicely because now we're not worrying about, you know, trying to cut out all the white nicely because we've got some bits here that are, you know, a little bit lighter, a little bit textured. You know, they're not going to cut out perfectly with a background remover, but look when we use that multiply blend mode, suddenly it blends in really beautifully. As you can see, there's lots of great ways we can use this tool. Now there is one more tool that I want to show you to even add even more texture. So this one is called noise image. So if you go to apps again, noise image. So all you have to do is select the image. You can choose the amount of noise you want, the strength of the noise, and then add to design. And that way we can add even more texture. So if you want to add even more texture, a bit of noise to something, that's another app tool that's now available in Canva. So as you can see, these tools are great for adding texture and something that I'm really excited is now in here. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you give it a go yourself and get creative with it. Try different things, try layering up different things, whether that's photos, textures, hand-drawn things. There's so much you can do with this now and I'm so excited that this is now a feature in Canva. Now, if you'd like to learn more about using Canva, about graphic design and creativity and branding, make sure you subscribe and happy creating.